first time here, I would love for you to subscribe because this channel is all about creativity and inspiration. I hope you feel inspired to create something amazing. Feel free to share the inspiration because life is a journey we make together. And now I'll show you how this shabby chic project was done. My summer project that I'm going to be working on. So this is my little potting shed. It's really too small for that. It's more of a storage, collect all, throw some things in here in winter, but it's kind of cute. on my potting shed. So today I'm going to be working on doing the shabby chic on the potting shed. So to do the shabby chic, you need the non-sanded grout. Put it in a container, mix small batches at a time because it does harden up, and add water till it just becomes like a nice paste. that that's just a uh, runny toothpaste then you're going to add your white paint to your mixture about equal parts mix again and this is what's going to give you the chalky shabby chic look now your base coat has to be darker than your top coat. So this is all of my base coat, which is really white. I get my paint at the recycle place. It's free. So here in Huntington Beach, it's right off of Nichols. That's why my can is askew, but I'm okay with the color and for the potting shed, this is perfect. So check out your local recycling place. Now, when you start your project, don't start in the most obvious spot. So you want a dry brush effect. So just put a little on at a time, take it off, and you're just gonna go in streaks. That's a little heavy, there we go. And you'll kind of get the flow of it and it dries lighter. Just take your time and just get in a good spot that you can see here and just streak it. There's really no right, really no wrong. However much you like, you can always go back over it. Go light in the beginning. Start in the corner so that you kind of get the feel for it. I think some of the tricks that I've learned is I kind of try to start in the most difficult areas or the areas that I don't really want to work on because that's when my energy is highest is in the beginning leave the easiest to the last. I think that really helps. Then you can kind of finish up if you're running out of energy, the easy parts. Corners seem to be a little challenging. You just kind of have to really work in the corners. Work in sections, I think helps. You can always come back. 
When I do shabby chic, I like to use a brush that I've already used before and it's a little bit stiffer than like a new brush. And let the process begin. Now I have changed over to this finer brush um, to get a couple of areas and in the corners that I couldn't get before, but uh, I was just kind of playing around with it and on this aluminum light fixture, I kind of, kind of liking that. It's a little softer, so just play around with your brushes. So today I'm going to be whitewashing this pine potting bench that I have made in my potting shed and all I'm going to be doing is using the non de grout, some white paint. So I'm going to mix my grout with my water into a paste. And I've decided not to put a base coat down and I want to see what this looks like before I decide on anything else. And I'm going to kind of use a little bit thinner setup. I'm going to add my white paint to my mixture here. You have to use small batches because it does harden up. And I want it pretty liquidy. go back over it. It's just harder to take off. And my last coat is just the non-sanded grout and water mixed in a paste. No paint. And I'm liking it a lot. You can go in and fill in the areas kind of around that didn't get anything and it'll dry a lot lighter. But I think I like it. So my second coat of just the grout and the water made this whitewash project complete. Happy painting!